Welcome to art. Today, you're going to be making friends for me. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Today, we're going to be making a little hand puppet. Looks like this. Yep, yep, yep. And so, I'm going to set that little creature down and we're going to get started. What you're going to need is a piece of origami paper. You will also later on need some scissors for adding details and some paper. I use this paper here. It says I can practice cutting lines. So we're going to be cutting out details. You can draw details on as well. Uh, so you'll notice I also use some markers and crayons uh, to create my little creature. And so we're going to start with a folding technique. Uh, we're going to do some origami. So with origami, you're taking a shape, it's flat, usually a square piece of paper, and creating a form. And so a form has dimension. It has length and width and height rather than just length and width uh, for shapes. So we're going to turn this square into a shape. Now you can make all kinds of things with origami. I know it's a popular thing a lot of people do. As a matter of fact, a lot of people make these on Free Choice Day, but they don't make puppets. Why not? I don't know, they just don't. Uh, what they usually make is something called a, a fortune teller. Um, so we're going to be doing the same fold. Fortune teller? Do you mean they are clairvoyant? No, this is for fun. Um, but we're not going to turn it into a fortune teller. We're going to be making a puppet. Yay! Okay. So let's get started. What we need to do with this origami paper is fold it on all the lines of symmetry. So a line of symmetry is where you can fold something in half and both halves are the same exact shape. So for example, if I take these two corners and I bring them together and I give it a fold, that's one line of symmetry because by folding it that way, I've created two triangles that are the same size. And I can do that in two different directions. So now I'm folding it in the other direction, making two triangles. Uh, that are the same size. So I have two lines of symmetry that are diagonal. Okay, one here and one here. Now what I'm going to do is fold it in half. Instead of bringing the corners together, I'm going to bring the edges together, make a new shape. This time I'm making a rectangle. So I'm going to fold it this way and then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to fold it See, this is a little awkward for me. It will be easier for you if you just do it on your table. Sorry, I'm going to fold it in half. Okay, so now I've got my lines of symmetry horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. Those are the guidelines for your folding. Now, to make this, it's not that difficult. You're just going to be taking the corners, bringing all the corners to the middle. So I'm going to take this corner and bring it to the middle. I'm going to take this corner and bring it to the middle. I'm going to take this corner, bring it to the middle, and one more. Take that corner and bring it to the middle. Okay? So it sort of looks like this. Now, once you've done that, you're going to need to flip it over to the back where you can't see any of those little flaps we just made and it looks just like a flat piece of paper. And you're going to do the exact same thing. So you're going to take this corner, you're going to bring it to the middle. Give it a good crease. Whenever you do origami, you need to really press good to get a good crease. Okay, so I'm going to bring this down, bring that to the middle, give it a good crease turn it, bring this down, bring it to the corner, give it a good crease, and do that one more time. Okay, 
So now it looks like that. So one side has four little square flaps, the other side has some triangle flaps. Now you're going to fold it so that the triangle flaps are on the inside and the square flaps are on the outside. And then you're going to stick your fingers inside two of those square flaps like that and sort of pop them out. Kind of turn them inside out like that. Okay? And then you need to do that with the other side too. So I'm going to take this flap and lift it up. Stick my finger in there. Come over on this side. Take this flap. Lift it up. And then you kind of stick your finger in the middle there and it should open up. Okay? Now if you're struggling with this, just stop now, go back, watch what I did again. Okay? Watch it as many times as you need to until you've understood it. Okay? Um, but the back should look like this. And then I'm going to pinch here just to make sure all those creases are correct. So I'm just going to pinch it like this. And then the front looks like that. Okay. Now, to turn this into a puppet, what I did is I took a drop of glue and I'm going to glue these top flaps together. So I'm going to put a drop of glue right in here and glue these two top ones together. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. Just put so that it only opens and closes in one direction for the mouth, okay? So I'm going to show you the other one and talk a little bit about what I did um, to put it together rather than make you watch me make a whole new one. So if you take a look at this one right here, okay? If I flip it over, you can see how I use that paper on practicing cutting and I cut it out. Now let me show you the paper that I cut. Alright, so this is the paper. I folded that paper in half and then cut out the shape for the ear. So if you have two things that are exactly the same shape, one quick trip trick is to cut them together with the paper folded in half. Okay? Um, and then just a reminder on using glue, just a drop of glue. You always put the glue on the smaller piece. Another thing that I did for this puppet is you'll notice I did some cuts along the edge. So I cut the points off and made them more rounded. Depending on how you want your puppet to look, you could glue things coming out from the edges, like fur or hair. Uh, and I did little cuts here to create, you know, sort of a little shaggy fur look. Uh, after trimming off that corner. Okay, you can put teeth in there. I tried putting teeth in this one, it just didn't look right, but you might want some pointy teeth if you have um, a different kind of creature. And then you just stick your fingers in it like this and open and close. Open and close in order to work the mouth. Okay, um, obviously it's going to need some eyes. It's up to you if you want to add eyebrows or hair. Again, if you want to add a tongue or teeth inside the mouth, you can put something else down here if you want it to. So you can decorate it however you like. You don't have to make it look like mine. So you're going to need one piece of the origami paper and then you, if you have colored paper, other scraps of paper, you can use them. If you have a lighter colored paper, you could draw directly on this. Uh, but anything that you want to stick up like this, you're going to have to cut out and glue. And again, I just glued it to the back. Okay. So that's making the puppet. So you can turn something like this into something like this. So, oops, I got mine turned the wrong way. There we go. And maybe you can give it a name. And maybe you can make it talk. So I hope you have fun with that. If you enjoy origami, I encourage you to try some other 
uh, origami tutorials. There's lots of them online. I'm going to give you a, a link to explore more, but you don't have to do more. I um, just want you to try this one and re review a little bit about the difference between shapes and forms. And learn a little bit about what is a line of symmetry. Do you remember what the line of symmetry was? It's that line that divides the shape in half where the two halves create two new shapes that are exactly the same. So enjoy, have fun making your little puppet, and I'll see you next time. Bye.